we shall commence this module by studying about financial assets. Financial assets are intangible assets that consist of financial claims arising out of predetermined relationships amongst two institutional units. When one organized unit be responsible for funds to another unit, financial claims arise and the asset owners obtain claims on economic means of other institutional unit. Therefore, financial assets are also termed as economic assets. Financial assets includes bank deposits, bonds, stocks, gold, bullion, etc. and are more liquid than tangible assets such as commodities, real estate, etc. Financial assets can also be traded in financial markets. Financial assets are contracts that do not involve any contingency and are a part of financial instruments. Let us now discuss some classification of financial assets. As per International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS, financial assets can be classified into following categories. Cash or cash equivalent, equity instruments of additional entity, contractual right to receive cash or another financial asset from another entity, contract that will or may be stable in the entity's own equity mechanisms and is either a non-derivative for which the entity is or may be pleased to receive a variable number of the entity's own equity instruments or a derivative that will or may be established other than by interchange of a fixed amount of cash or another financial asset for a fixed number of the entity's own equity instruments. Financial assets can also be classified on the basis of their two principal characteristics that is liquidity of the asset which includes other characteristics such as negotiability, transferability, marketability or convertibility and legal characteristics. According to these two characteristics, financial assets can be classified as classification of financial assets. Monetary gold and STRs, currency and deposits, debt securities, loans, borrowings, equity and investment fund shares, financial derivatives, other accounts receivable, payable. Monetary gold and STRs, monetary gold and special drawing rights STR are allotted by International Monetary Fund IMF. These financial assets are generally held only by monetary authorities and are the only financial assets for which there are no confirming financial liabilities. Monetary gold can be a financial asset only for the central bank or the government as standard bullions of gold are held by central bank or government as part of official reserves. Purchase and sale of gold transactions are carried out between the central banks or between central banks and international financial organizations. All monetary gold is involved in reserve assets or is held by international financial organizations. However, gold bullion holdings that are not portion of reserve assets are classified as non-financial assets. Special drawing rights, SDRs are international reserve assets created by IMF and allocated to member countries to supplement existing official reserves. SDRs are held only by central bank or government and few international financial institutions that are authorized holders. SDR holdings determine each holder's assured rights to obtain foreign exchange or other reserve assets from other IMF members. SDRs are financial assets with corresponding liabilities. However, these financial assets represent claims on the participants, member countries of IMF and certain international agencies collectively and not on IMF. A participant can sell some or all of its SDR holdings to another participant and get in return other reserve assets. Currency and Deposits Currency and deposits 
are the most liquid assets and comprises of notes, coins and deposits both in national and foreign currency. Currency comprises of notes and coins in circulation that are usually of fixed nominal value and have no dates of repayment. Currency can be held as an asset by all sectors of economy and non-residents but it is issued by central banks or governments only. Currency is classified into domestic and foreign currency claims on non-resident central banks or governments. Deposits comprises of entitlements on the central bank, other depository corporations and government units. Deposits can be classified as transferable deposits. Transferable deposits can be held and operated by all subdivisions of economy and non-residents. Rest of the world, these deposits contain all deposits that are first exchangeable for bank notes and coins on demand at par and without any restriction and second directly usable for making third party payments by check, draft, direct debit, credit etc. Other non-transferable deposits. All types of deposits other than transferable deposits are included in other deposits. These deposits are financial intermediaries deposits or liabilities which cannot be used for making payments. These deposits are not exchangeable with cash or transferable deposit. All segments of economy and non-residents can open and operate such accounts. Other deposits include time deposits, non-transferable payments denominated in foreign currency and repurchase agreements. Debt securities. Securities can be debt or equity securities. Debt securities are negotiable appliances and include bonds, notes, certificates of deposits, commercial paper, debentures and similar instruments usually traded in financial markets. Some common types of debt securities issued and traded in international markets are short term securities sold on a zero coupon discount basis. Long term securities sold on a fixed rate coupon basis, debentures, debt securities with embedded financial derivatives. Loans. Loans are financial assets that arise when a creditor lends funds to a debtor and are, con I repeat, and are evidenced by non-negotiable instruments. Loans include all types of advances except accounts receivable, payable, provided by financial corporations, government to various sectors of the economy and includes overdrafts, installment loans, higher purchase credit and loans to finance trade credit, repurchase agreements, gold swaps and financing through a financial lease are also part of loans. Loans can be categorized as short term loans have a maturity of less than or equal to one year. Loans that matures on request are also classified as short term loans even if these are not expected to be repaid within one year. Medium term loans have a maturity ranging between 1 to 5 years. Long term loans have a maturity that exceeds those of short term and medium term loans. Borrowings Usually borrowings are not considered as a separate financial instrument. Borrowing is done through other financial measures such as loans, deposits, etc. However, it is treated as a separate financial instrument in Armenian law. According to this law, the lender gives the money to the borrower under an agreement and the borrower agrees to return the specified money to the lender as per the terms of the agreement. If the maturity date is not specified, then the amount of loan has to be returned within 30 days upon the request of the lender unless otherwise mentioned in the agreement. Borrowings are less liquid as compared to time deposits. In a borrowing transaction, the lender earns interest against the amount provided to the borrower. Equity and investment fund shares. Equity consists of all instruments and records having entitlements on the residual value of an establishment after the claims of all creditors have been met. 
equity is considered as a liability of the corporation. Ownership of equity in an entity is evidenced by stock, shares, participations, depository receipts or similar instruments. Equities can be subdivided into listed shares, unlisted shares and other equity. Listed and unlisted shares are accessible and are therefore termed as equity securities. Investment fund shares or units comprises of shares or units of all kinds of investment funds. Exchange traded fund ETF is also a part of investment fund shares. Next is financial derivatives. Financial derivatives are instruments that are linked to other specific financial instruments. The value of a financial derivative is derived from the price of underlying asset. Financial derivatives are primarily used for risk management, hedging, arbitrage between markets and speculation. Financial derivative contracts are settled through net payments of cash rather than the actual delivery of underlying items. Financial derivatives can be subclassified into forward. In a forward contract, both the parties agree to interchange a specified quantity of the underlying asset on a stated date at an agreed contract price. A forward contract needs to be executed mandatory but only when the period specified in the contract is expired. Option. In an option contract, the buyer has a right but no obligation to sell or purchase a specified asset at an agreed price in a specified period. For this, the buyer has to pay a price to the seller of the option. The buyer of the option contract can also sell the option that is his right to exercise the option. Swap. A swap signifies a spot purchase or sale of the underlying asset with the condition of a forward sale or purchase. Swap is a type of forward contract in which two parties agree to exchange different currencies that is buy or sell any money for another in spot market and at the same time enter into a repurchase agreement on sale or purchase of these currencies in forward market at prices already determined. Other accounts receivable payable. Other accounts receivable payable comprises of trade credit and advances. Trade credit and advances are claims that arise as a result of sale or purchase of goods and services for which payment has not yet become due. Trade credit is extended directly by suppliers to buyers of goods and services. Advances are payments made in advance by customers for goods and services not yet provided or for work that is in progress or yet to be undertaken. Trade credits do not include loans taken to finance trade credit. Other receivables payables includes accrued taxes and accrued expenses such as rent, wages and salaries. It also includes items such as deferred income and provision for loan losses. Let us now recapitulate what we have learnt so far. Financial assets are intangible assets that consist of financial claims arising out of predetermined relationship amongst two institutional units. Monetary gold can be a financial asset only for the central bank or the government as standard bullions of gold are held by central bank or government as part of official reserves. Special drawing rights SDRs are international reserve assets created by IMF and allocated to member countries to supplement existing official reserves. SDRs are held only by central bank or government and few international financial institutions that are authorized holders. Currency comprises of notes and coins in circulation that are usually of fixed nominal value and have no dates of repayment. Currency can be, can be held as an asset by all sectors of economy and non-residents but it is issued by central banks or government only. Financial derivatives are instruments that are linked to other specific financial instruments. The value of a financial derivative is derived from the price of underlying asset. Thank you.